the fact that they're outdoors removes one level of risk. But people are shouting, they are screaming, emotions are running hot, people are going to be gathering in a small space, they are gathering for long periods of time. And again, I think people should gauge their individual risks. Certainly wearing a mask, wearing a cloth, covering a surgical mask, any type of facial covering, making sure that it covers both the nose and the mouth is important and taking care that if you are going to remove it, to remove it the right way, because otherwise you could also be contaminating that mask as well. So um, removing it carefully and then sanitizing your hands ideally afterwards. We should be keeping a close diary of where it is that we were. So that's the other way to help with contact tracing as well. If you can say, I was in this location protesting at this time, that way you'll know if somebody tested positive in that time that you could potentially be, uh, be exposed to. Number one, we have the index case, what we call the one that's the positive COVID. Let's say he has signs and symptoms of COVID and he went and got tested. He decided, he didn't want to be tested. So we might not see the impact for another month or so. All this is to say to not draw the wrong lessons. So even if we do not see an immediate spike, let's not rest. Let's keep on our guard. No peace.